this flow appears to be slow. So I'll have to open that uh, valve down there and clean that filter. So you'll see now and then you'll see after we fix it how much stronger it will be. This is the beads. Looks like rice grains that are inside the filter, the ASD filter. That's why it's called the bead filter. And I've shown you in the other video how this works basically by air pressure. Uh, but there is, if you come close here, you'll see there's a plastic filter here. And there's a similar one down there. And that's, they both get clogged. Uh, this one is okay, but sometime you may see the, the, this uh, rice gets stuck in the slit. And if enough uh, gets stuck in the slit, it clogs it, and then that's why the flow becomes weak. So once in a while, you have to remove, remove them and clean them. Okay, and of course, the way to do it is to release the air pressure. This way, when you, when you uh, disconnect everything, there's not a lot of water pressure, and you will lose some beads You will lose uh, some beads here, that's why I put this plastic. I'm opening it slowly so that if, if, any, if it drains any water or and beads come with it, they will fall into that yellow lid to catch them all instead of, uh, see, it's starting. What's doing now, it's draining the water that's inside. And you will lose some beads, but you see that? So you can, I mean, you can, whatever you need to do to re recover them. Um, and this is the filter that I talked about earlier. It looks better, better than I expected. I don't know why the flow is slow. Um, but that's what I mean by the beads getting inside and the clogging. Uh, okay. All right. So it's a little messy. I mean, like getting wet in this, but it's something necessary you have to do. And if you do it carefully, by shutting off the water pump and the air pump, let it settle down, open it, have it something to catch if you caught any beads. Maybe you are working on a concrete floor, then it's easy to sweep and you know dust dustpan and broom and catch the weeds and uh, beads and put them back. So, so in addition to relieving the pressure, I also open this. Uh, top uh, lid also to relieve any air pressure that's inside. Okay, now that it's back in, we can put it back. Let's see if we lost any beads. We didn't lose any beads. We just lost a lot of water. Okay. And let me close it and then we'll flush it and hopefully see the flow stronger. Okay, now that I closed it back, I want to make sure that this is not leaking. So I added a little bit of water, just like you test if your tire is leaking, add a little bit of water, I don't see any bubbles. That's not leaking. This is not leaking water, so I tightened it enough. The bubble is at one, that's where I want it to be. So uh, it's all good. We brought it back to the way it was. Let's flush it and see if the flow is stronger. That's much better. That's what I like it to see. That's what you want to see in a flow. Should fill up that five gallon bucket in less than 30 seconds. Okay. 